Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Sunday, the 20th of September. We begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And let us sing the O Gracious Light to Talus Canon. As always, I will indicate where the second voice is to come in. O Gracious Light, Lord Jesus Christ, in you the Father's Jesus Christ, immortal, all is blessed is shone, immortal, all is blessed is he, and blessed are you, his holy Son, the sun set guns, but light shines forth, the clouds are lit and pierced, the night. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit, God, who dwells in the eternal light. Worthy are you of endless praise, O Son of God, life-giving Lord. Wherefore you are through all the earth and in the highest heaven adored. And our psalm is Psalm 38, verses 1 to 8, which we say together. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our hymn is hymn number 521. Dear Shepherd of your people here. Dear Shepherd of your people, hear your presence now display. As you have given a place for prayer, so give us hearts to pray. Within these walls let holy peace and love and concord dwell. Here give the troubled conscience ease, the wounded spirit heal. May we in faith receive your word, in faith present our prayers, and in the presence of our Lord disburden all our cares. The hearing ear, the seeing eye, the humbled mind bestow, and shine upon us from on high to make our graces grow. And our gospel lesson is John, or sorry, Matthew 6, 1 to 6 and 16 to 18. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may see, be seen by others. 
Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel lesson is also the Gospel lesson for Ash Wednesday. So even though it's half a year away, it feels very much like the lessons from John that we've been reading. And this lesson feels very much like uh, Lentish kind of lessons. Uh, the important thing in this gospel lesson is that God sees what we do in secret. Uh, God knows uh, what our, the true nature of our heart is and, and how that shows in action. So action, showing compassion for others, uh, reaching out to others or whatever, whatever happens that isn't seen by others but is important in ministry is uh, is so much cherished by God because it shows your heart it shows who you are um, so when you pray you know don't don't uh, sound the trumpet and when you're giving or when you're praying or, or to be to get your reward from other people but God knows the nature of your heart and uh, so remember remember that it's important to have a true heart to let your heart uh, show your actions in the world um, and not to be seen by others. You know, some of the most important ministry that happens, happens between two people. No one else knows it's happening, but that relationship between two people. Uh, sometimes when I'm visiting people in the hospital, they're in a coma. Uh, but God knows that that visit happened. God knows that those prayers happened. Um, and it's absolutely cherished by God and is used by God. For God's purposes. Likewise, this prayer, praying in secret, this is uh, one of the lessons um, that is used by uh, centering prayer, which is uh, a meditative prayer that we do all by ourselves at home. Nobody else is around. It's a very meditative 20 minute prayer, but it's this is one of the lessons that points to that type of prayer to just close the door, pray in secret. Uh, I encourage you uh, to use this lesson to um, to develop an, your own prayer discipline. Perhaps it will be meditative prayer uh, that you do uh, daily um, by yourself. And what God sees you doing in secret, God absolutely cherishes. Let us uh, sing together our, our next uh, hymn, which is Bless the Lord My Soul. Bless the Lord my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. And now let us confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and the life everlasting. Amen. In our prayers today, when I pray, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the whole world. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for Queen Elizabeth, the Governor General, the Prime Minister, and all in authority. The Lord help them to serve this people according to his holy will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people. The Lord guard their growth and development. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick. We pray especially for the sick in our own parish, those who have asked us to pray for them or their families. We pray for Jane Ross, Paul Benson, Doug McDonald, June, Alex, Nick, Jane Gatke, Christopher, Jeff Smith, Hannah, Sue, Bernice Peterson, Wendy, Bev, Marilyn, Peter Robertson, Melanie and family, Monica, Cheryl Clark, Mary Sherwood, Ocean Tomlinson, Allie, Lynn Aitkins, Jane, Eileen Spidel, and Bill Crandall. We pray for all the sick known to us. We give thanks for them and pray for Jesus' healing touch in their lives, that they might have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for healers, wherever they are, the medical community, first responders. We pray for research workers and scientists. We pray, O oh Lord, for a way out of this pandemic. Give encouragement and strength and insight to all who are working uh, for a vaccine or another solution for this problem. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, O oh Lord, for one another. May we always be united in service and love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for refugees wherever they are, especially we pray for the refugee family who we are sponsoring, who are still stuck in Beirut, Mohammed, Karima, Fatim, and Ahmed Al-Alam. We give thanks for them and pray for their health and safety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. We pray for the ministry and work of Amnesty International working for people who are condemned unjustly around the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel, St. Luke and all the saints. The Lord direct our lives in the same service of spirit, spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households on our parish list. And if you are joining us from another parish, I invite you to pray for members of your community. Today, we pray for Amy, Abigail, Owen, and Mackenzie Keith, for Elizabeth Keller, for David Kelly and Jane Cooper Kelly, for Marion Kimball, for Glenn and Melissa Kennedy and Jeremy, for William and Audrey Kenny, for Dorothy Q, for Bruce and Jennifer, Heather and Rachel King, for Lucille King, and for Joan Kington. We ask your blessing upon them all, and we pray that they might know they belong to a community of faith which has concern and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the province of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan, the Most Reverend Justin Badi Arama, Bishop of Juba and the Archbishop of the province. We pray for all the bishops, clergy, and people of all those dioceses in South Sudan. We pray, O oh Lord, for their safety, knowing that it is a volatile area. We pray, O oh Lord, for peace for the people of South Sudan. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. And let us pray together our night prayer from the New Zealand prayer book. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace unfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the collect for this Sunday, grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And our next hymn is Nunc Dimittis. Nunc Dimittis, servum tuum, Domine, Domine, secundum, verum tuum, in pace, Domine. Nunc Dimittis, servum tuum, Domine, Domine, secundum, Verum tuum in pace domine, non demites servum tuum domine, domine, secundum verum tuum in pace domine. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the Lord of peace give us peace in all ways and at all times. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. I hope that you will join us for evening prayer every evening, uh, except Friday. God's blessings to you.